Hey friend, Brandon here. I'm pretty stoked about this video because HP sent out something for me to unbox and check out. Check out this fancy looking box. Looks really premium already. And I really wanna thank HP for sponsoring this showcase so I can show a bunch of cool things they can do with the Spectre X360. Ooh. So it has that matte black finish with this gold trim there. Pull this up over here. What's inside? We have a couple of things here. Pull those out. All right, so first of all, we have a nice braided power brick here. Look at that cable there. Looks like it's a USB-C for the plug. So apparently this has HP fast charge, which allows you to charge 50% of your laptop in about 45 minutes. The brick is actually pretty small. Looks like it's uh, 65 watts. This is really interesting. Oh, a stylus. Looks like there's some buttons there to click on. What's this? Oh, you slide that open. What does that do? Look, there's a USB-C charging port right there. That's cool. I'm excited to try this out. And this is what we're looking for. So this is the HP Spectre X360. I love that modern HP logo. I like that they updated it and it looks pretty cool. And then here we have kind of a matte finish along the back. You have some ventilation there. So what's interesting to me already is the fact that this is not some cliche typical laptop in terms of design. So it has this nice rose gold chamfered edges. And I like that it has these little corners chopped off there. Kind of gives it a little bit of a sports car look to it. A USB-C port right there. So that makes sense if you're charging from over there. And then you have a headphone jack and another USB-C port and then a micro SD card slot. And then the oldie but goodie, the USB-A. There it is. Now I do really have to point out that this screen is awesome. It's a 3K, 2K IPS OLED screen. Yes, an OLED screen. So it has really great viewing angles and it has really great color, which covers 100% of the DCI-P3 color space, which is perfect because I edit a lot of video and that's really important to me. Looks pretty good to me. And at a 3K, 2K resolution, you have 6 million pixels in a three by two aspect ratio. So why do you have a stylus? It's because it has a touch screen, which is really cool. This has the Corning Gorilla Glass on there is able to kind of handle a lot of abuse and your fingerprints and all that other stuff. You couldn't do this with most laptops. You would just destroy it. So check that out. Let's bring up an oldie but goodie paint, paint 3D. Okay, let's go to new. Please subscribe. Can zoom in and now multi-touch. That is awesome. So I can imagine this being really great for things like Photoshop as well, if you want to get a little bit more advanced. 3D library, what is that? I can add a dinosaur? Oh, what? Are you kidding me? Back in the day, we had to like make crazy sprites and paint. And now we have 3D dinosaurs. What the heck? <laughs> can I record this? I can record this. Well, I, I guess this is a convenient way of showing you what the camera looks like and what it sounds like. So what do you think with this dinosaur stuck in my face? Hey, hey, social distancing. <gasps> So the HP rechargeable tilt pen is really neat because it can be used for a bunch of different artistic purposes like Photoshop or Paint 3D like we just saw there. And it's a 2.0 version, so it has improved latency and greater sensitivity to allow you to smoothly transition between colors and get the fine details and draw it. I really like it. Oh, and one of my favorite parts is this. Oh yeah. So it's nice and snug over on the side and you just pick it up when you need it. Okay, let's see how good the uh, keyboard feels here. The quick. Brown fox jumped over the hill. What's, what's the phrase? <laughs> Let's listen to it. Yeah, sounds pretty good. Nice amount of clack without uh, being annoying. And there's even a backlight for the keys. And then you have a nice big trackpad down here. So why is it called the X360? It's because you have this crazy hinge here. Oh my goodness, it goes all the way. This thing feels uh, really hefty and sturdy. I think it will be fine in terms of durability. <laughs> so you can kind of use it like a tablet. Landscape mode, and then it'll go into portrait mode, just like that. So maybe you can use this to take some notes, or maybe you're taking someone's order. You're like, okay, okay, uh, you want a, okay, a drink? Okay, a burger. And yeah, it deactivates the keyboard when you're in this mode. So you don't have to worry about it going all crazy and stuff. You can hold it like this and you have a digital keyboard there. So if you want to type in there, that's really cool. So in this mode, I can watch things on it like YouTube and it has like a nice little kind of setup here and I can hit this button right here. I can right here. Oh my gosh, I can write. What does it do? Uh, let's see, this is tech today. Oh, it worked. There it is, just like that. That's really cool. 
And of course you can use it in the tent position like this. This could be really cool if you're just watching uh, a movie or something like that. We have some Bing and Olufsen speakers on it. We have this previous video from HP, so let's check it out. You can print easily over Wi-Fi or directly from your smartphone with the HP Smart App. We have a camera shutter key right here. If you look really close and I hit the button, see how it turns off the camera? Having a dedicated button right there is really nice. I don't have to like put a little sticky note up there. And since I turned off the camera, it says I can't find the camera. Works perfectly fine. I can undo it and there you go. Take a photo and it even has Windows Hello so I can just look at it. Check that out. Pretty sweet. I gotta say, it's really crazy that we don't have face unlock on all laptops. It's super convenient. You can also unlock it by using your fingerprint on the little fingerprint scanner right here. Now, one thing that's been really hard for me when using a Windows-based computer compared to some of the other options is the inability of just easily transferring some files from your phone over to your computer. So with HP Quick Drop, you can send messages, photos, videos, documents, and more easily between your mobile devices and your computer. And it works for both iOS and Android. Let's try it out. Just because it's a touch screen, I just naturally go and touch it. Okay, so I can send a note. What does that do? Hello? Send a picture of my cat. Boop in the snoop. Oh, there's Ruby. She's so cute. I love her. I can do it this direction too. Hey, from my computer. Yeah, check it out. It's right there. I'll send this background to my phone. And there it is. That's really, really powerful and helpful for me when I'm creating content. Maybe I just need to take some photos and just bring it into my computer easily for a video, like a, maybe a camera comparison. So the excuse of I can't use a PC because it doesn't have the ability to transfer files easily is not really a good excuse anymore. I really like that I'm able to use this for video editing like in Adobe Premiere and that it's nice and snappy and fast. I was able to edit a video for a job I'm working on and it worked perfectly fine. And being able to use the stylus when I want to just move around is actually kind of Nice. And I know a lot of that has to do with the Intel Evo platform that's built into this. It allows it to be really quick and responsive, give you fast performance, long better life, and really good visuals. If it has the Intel Evo sticker on it, it means it's been verified by Intel for an exceptional laptop experience anywhere. Part of the reason for that power and speed in my video editing and everything else that I'm using on this is the 11th gen Intel Core i7 processor. These mobile processors bring the perfect combination of high performance, instant responsiveness, and power efficiency to make sure that you're able to get the things that you need done throughout the day. Now the model that I have has one terabyte of SSD in there and 16 gigs of RAM, which is really hefty. Of course, depending on where you buy your laptop, your configuration may vary. As a whole, this feels like a really premium laptop. I really like having a touchscreen in my computers. I wish all of them would have that. And to add to the whole premium feel of everything, it comes with this over here. So you have this nice case for it. Slides in, has a nice good snug fit there. Looks like there's even a spot for the pen, perfect. You just carry this around and since it's about 13 and a half inches for the screen, really easy to carry around. It's not too big or burdensome, fits in your backpack or your bag really easily. Looks quite professional, you know, walking around with this, being all business-like, you know, when we were around each other. <laughs> So if you want to pick up the Spectre X360, there's some links down below in the description. Thanks so much to HP for sending this out for me for free to check out and for sponsoring this showcase. Thank you for watching This Is Tech Today, where we talk about the intersection of technology in our everyday lives, in business, and in all things creative. Until next time.